All right, guys. For you sickies out there, I completely understand. I got one at my house, and I'm probably next. Um, of course, this is for October 5th, 2009. So if I leave this YouTube up for years to come, I may not be talking to you. Um, you guys that might have missed Friday. Here was the book assignment. Page 409, number 24, 25 A and B, 26 A and B, 28, 29, 30, 37, 42, and 44. And that is due tomorrow, which is Monday. Of course, if you're absent Friday, you've got more time. Uh, we got three days this week coming up before a fall break. Uh, the plan is to cover the cis and trans isomers tomorrow, which I just did on the previous segment of YouTube. Um, Tuesday, we're going to review for the test, and I may be teaching Ms. Moore's class also. I'm not sure about that. Wednesday is going to be our test. So my goal is, even if you're sick right now, if you can drag your body in here Wednesday, if you don't have a fever, I want you to take the test because we're not doing anything else new. So here's what's going to be on the test. I'm just going to tell you, or tip to tell you. So there are 50 questions. Yes, 50 questions. One through 12. Are all reactions like you got on the green practice sheet and the blue quiz? If you are not here for that, maybe you can see this. This is the green practice sheet. I'm not sure how clear that's going to be. Uh, this is the answers to it. Email me and I will get you this if you don't have it. But you're also in good shape if you just watch the videos on um, dehydration, dehydrohalogenation. That's one. And then the one on addition reactions of alkenes. So there are 12 of those. Let me stress on the directions here because a lot of you on the blue quiz you took Friday, which some of you missed, you didn't name everything. And the directions say to name everything. Write equations for the following reactions. If there's a major minor product, show both and circle the major. Do not show major minor products if they don't exist. Name the products in the reaction. Products are the things after the arrow. Include catalysts, but do not name them. Follow the directions carefully. Now, on the back page of this thing, I have got a cheat sheet for you. The cheat sheet lists all the reactions, it lists all the catalysts, and it kind of tells you what's going on. Like dehydration, H2SO4 is a catalyst, makes an alkene, starts with an alcohol. Um, dehydrohalogenation, KOH catalyst, makes an alkene in one step, and alkyne in two steps. So I've described what, what you're going to be using. If you don't know how to do the reactions, it's not going to be a lot of help. But it will help jog your memory, I think. Okay, 1 through 12 reactions. 13, I'm going to ask you to write an equation to make acetylene. If you look in your notes, you will find that. If you don't have it in your notes, um, you can think up a way if you're pretty smart. Number, another one. Tell me a test you can do in the lab using bromine to differentiate between a saturated and unsaturated substance. You've got to tell me what's going on there. You can even use equations. Uh, 15 through 22 are names that you have to draw. Make sure you're familiar with acetylene, how to draw it, propylene, ethylene. There's a cis on here and there's a trans and then a couple of others to draw. There are some fill in the blanks. Make sure you know what dehydration is. Which one is worse for your body, cis or trans? Um, since I was out last week one day, we didn't even get to the cis I mean the trans fatty acid stuff. Just know trans is the one that's bad for your body and we'll probably get into that more with biochemistry. Um, other than the four addition reactions, what are two reactions alkenes can undergo? I gave them to you at the bottom of the board in the last segment. Uh, two kinds of cracking, list those. I want to know what pheromones are. Two examples of each. If you don't know, maybe you weren't here the day we did the web quest, then I'll let you look that up. It's P-H-E-R-O-M-O-N-E-S. I want to know what kind of hydrocarbon is the most reactive, saturated or unsaturated, and explain why. Remember our electron parties? 33 through 39. I have actually, oh, I can't flip this around and show it to you. You could probably pause it and get all the questions, huh? 33 through 39 are alkenes for you to name. I've got a question on what is knocking, why is it bad for your car? And then I've got a few more questions about reactions. Here's what you could see. I think these are in, I don't know if they're in the book or not. Um, I'm going to read this out. This is not the exact 
question, but it's pretty close. Show what happens when propylene reacts with the following, and I've got several listed, like bromine, hydrogen, hydrochloric acid. Start each question with that. Oh. Propylene, if you listen, you know what the question is. Start each question with propylene and add each of the following to it. You don't have to name anything. This should make sense, hopefully. And then I've got one, well, about four questions. It's pretty close to this. Show how to make each of the following compounds starting from ethane. Write complete reactions. Start with ethane. Show how you end up with the thing below, like ethane. How would you get ethane if you start with ethene? Add H2. How would you get 1,2-dibromoethane? Starting with ethene. Add Br2. You gotta think a little bit, but you can do it. That's it, 50 questions. If you know your reactions, you're gonna make 100. If you don't know the reactions, this is gonna be really easy for me to grade. So, get well, see you soon, have a good fall break.